Hello again, this is uh, Mr. Solis from Advanced Quantitative Reasoning and we're going to be talking about understanding debt and how we're going ahead and paying it off. Uh, we have this particular situation where we have a debt of $10,000 instead of a credit card, uh, an APR of 25.94% interest. i got to make sure I put percentage because that's a percentage. And we have T equal to 3 years. So this is what we're going to be doing right here. We're going to use something called an amortization pay, uh, table to analyze what's going on with our debt. As we pay it off, what happens? So we're going to start it out with our months. So if we have three years, and since this is a monthly bill, this is actually going to be 36 months. Now, uh, what I did in advance, and that's big N, just to let you know that's the total number of uh, of uh, periods that are going by. So right here what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use my TVM. I've already done this so I know how much I'm going to do. It's about $400. But I'm going to go ahead and find out what payment I need to make to be able to go ahead and pay this off within 36 months. So I hit apps, go, go into uh, TVM solver of course and I'm going to start this. I'm going to start putting in 36. I don't have to do 3 times 12 but I could you know, it doesn't really matter. 25.94% interest. Uh, of course, the PV is 10,000. That's a positive 10,000. Remember, you know, when we're doing debts, we're, we're paying this off. Future value is zero because we want to go ahead and pay it off. 12 periods in each year. So there we go. And I need to make sure that it's an end. If it's, an, if it's not an end, I have to put in an end. So I'm going to find out what my payment is to go ahead and pay this off within 36 months. And that's 400 two dollars and fifty nine cents so 402 so the the payment I need to make PMT is 402.59 and let me go ahead and double check and make sure 4259 yes so this is how you start number one you're gonna start out with the months so we have first month second month now we start out with our balance, $10,000. Now, for our interest, how much interest we're getting charged? Remember, this is a monthly, so what we have to do is that we take our balance, multiply that by the percentage that we're going to go ahead and increase this by, which is going to be 0.2594. We also divide this by 12 because we're going to go ahead and divide this amongst 12 payments inside of one year so we're going to get in the monthly amount so this right here comes out to be so originally it's 10,000 times 0.2594 whatever that interest is divided by 12 I really should use a formula form for this one right here let me go ahead and do that so that's interest divided by 12. And so right here, this is what we have. So 10,000 times 0.2594 divided by 12. So it's going to go ahead, and the interest I'm going to get charged is going to be $216.17. 216.17. And that's going to be subtracted from what if so that's going to be added on to my uh, to my balance. So my principal that I'm uh, that I'm going to go ahead and pay off onto the principal. That's based off the interest plus my payment. So basically, I'm going to take payment and subtract the interest. So let's see, my payment is right here. 402.59 minus the interest which is 216.17 which came from right here so 402.59 minus 216 whoops point 17 that becomes 182.40 186.42 And that's how much money I'm going to be taking away from my balance. 
because right now I'm since they're adding on interest right here since we've added on interest where this is our steps back you know we only pay off certain amounts right now when we go ahead and pay this payment we go ahead and pay that plus you know we're paying off the interest first and then we're going after the principal this is our principal really this is what we're going to be pulling out of there so now we go ahead and take our balance and subtract the principal subtract from there so this is going to be 10,000 minus 186.42 so that's 10,000 minus 186.42. So that's 9,800, uh, $13.58. Which now becomes our balance over here, $9,813.58. Then we start the whole process over again. So right here, we take 918.13.58 times 0.2594 divided by 12. We do that again. So I'm only going to do this for two months, and then I'm going to show you one more way of doing it using the computer. 9813.58 times 0.2594 divided by 12. Now the interest that's added on is $212.13. 212.1. Let me check, check that 13 cents. No, it's actually 14 cents. Round up. And of course we're going to subtract that from our payment. So the, our payment is $402.59 minus uh, $212.14. 402.59 minus 12 or 212.14. So now it's 190.42, I think, uh, 45. Which we're going to subtract now from our principal again, from our balance. So it's 9813.58 minus 190.45. So 9813.58 minus 190.4345. And that's 9623.13. Now you're probably wondering what's happening here. Each time we go ahead and make a payment we're paying off the part of the principal our interest starts to go down we started with 216 right here and now we're going down to 212 so the interest has gone down each time we make a payment that will go down and part of our payment will uh, as this as the interest goes down now our principal starts coming back up so that means eventually we're going to be paying pure principal off and that's what happens with this. So as our ba as our balance goes down, the less we're paying into the uh, into the uh, into the 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 principal, uh, the more we're going to be paying into the into uh, to the um, to the principal, and it'll just come out that way after a while. And let me show you one more trick. One more thing before I finish, I'm going to go ahead and grab my thing. I have my balance. Remember, where our balance was ten thousand dollars. And this is what I'm going to be doing. Interest is going to be, this is equal to this 10,000 uh, times 0.2594 divided by 12. Now we have our principal. Remember our payment. What was our payment? Let me go ahead and take a look. Make that smaller. So this is equal to 402.59. Minus what our interest was. That's the easiest way of doing it. And now we have our new balance, which would be equal to this minus the principal. 
And so there we go. And then it follows the same exact things. And I just need to go ahead and do this equal to this. And since that's everything right here, I'm going to go ahead and bring this down for this one. It's important that you go ahead and do that first before you do this little trick. Because as you can see, I have everything right here. I have the months, balance, interest, principal, new balance. So I'm going to grab all this, double click, and there we go. And that's our amortization. And, ooh, do you know what that means when you have those parentheses around that? That means that you overpaid. And so you're going to get a check for 18 cents, which is exactly what they have to do. All right, so you see this. We're going to be discussing this more in class. Uh, it's going to be a lot of uh, neat stuff with this. I find this fascinating. I'll go ahead and talk to you guys later. All right, bye-bye.